I just got this new Severin box set. That's uh, Macabre Volume 3 from Severin Films. And so let's take a look inside and see what we've got here. Uh, pre volumes 1 and 2 of this series had focused on um, European movies usually made in Italy. Uh, volume 1's highlight was uh, the uncut version of Lady Frankenstein. Volume 2's highlight was the totally uncut with nudity version of the Barbara Steele classic Castle of Blood. Now, uh, there's several films in this new series that could be considered the highlight. I think it might be Cross of the Devil, since that's uh, directed by uh, John Gilling, best known as a Hammer Films director, who did films like uh, The Mummy Shroud and uh, The Reptile. So anyway, I've already taken off the uh, plastic uh, shrink wrap, and so we'll just remove this and see what we have here. Here's the first one. I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce that, but it looks like it's Necrophages or something like that. But anyway, I know absolutely nothing about this film, so I'll be watching it for the first time. In fact, I'm going to be watching all four of these for the first time. And uh, take a look. Here's the back cover. And you can see it's got all these extra features, audio commentary and appreciation and uh, something from a film festival, so I'll probably go be looking at all of those in addition to watching the film itself. Uh, the second film here is Cake of Blood. Again, and one I've never seen before and know nothing about. Uh, the extra features here are audio commentary, interview with one of the actresses, interview with a co-director, interview with an actor, and then a video appreciation of the film. So again, I'm looking forward to this one. I mean, Severin is very discerning in what they decide to put out. So if they elected to include this in this four film series, then I'm assuming it's definitely worth checking out. Now here's the biggie, the one from Hammer's John Gilling, Cross of the Devil, and the cover of it really uh, makes you think of the Blind Dead series from Spain. Uh, those uh, films like Tombs of the Blind Dead and The Ghost Galleon, a.k.a. Horror of the Zombies, uh, Night of the Seagulls. There were four of them and all in the official series. But there have been various films from time to time that seem very inspired by the Blind Dead. Even Jess Franco made one. And here is Across the Devil, which I've not seen this film before, but the cover certainly is making me think of the Blind Dead series. So when I take a look at it, I'll see how much of an imitation or tribute it is, if any at all. And this has got audio commentary by Kim Newman. He pops up on a lot of these uh, Euro releases. Um, something with a screenwriter, uh, an appreciation... And the legacy is blah, 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 blah. So anyway, I'm looking forward to that. Just the fact that a Hammer director made this film, you know, that's pretty much all the recommendation I need. And lastly, we have Night of the Walking Dead, which is, uh, again, it's uh, one of the top Spanish horror directors, Leon Komolsky, who's best known for the collaborations he did with Paul Nashi, and so I'm hoping this one is uh, everything that we would like it to be.